Hello, thank you so much for watching. My name is Culture, and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I got this makeup look with beauty products from Merit Beauty. Everything is in this beautiful little corduroy pouch, and I love the message behind Merit Beauty where they embrace minimalism. Merit Beauty products are clean, vegan, and cruelty-free. It's responsible luxury products for your body and the planet. Okay, so I've got my mirror right here. I've got my products in front of me. So as far as my morning routine goes, I like to do my makeup every single day. It just makes me feel good. As you can see, I already have some lashes on and my eyebrows done because I do, <laughs> I do like to wear lashes almost every single day because my natural lashes are very short. So I don't like to pile on a ton of mascara because if I can just throw on lashes, it takes me less than a minute to do. I would rather do that. So I have two of the same product. They're Perfecting Complexion Stick. One is in khaki and one is in sand. I'm gonna use one as a concealer and then one as a foundation. These are cream sticks and I have used these products twice before this video. They're really creamy super easy to blend out. Right here, I do have a blemish, three pimples, one right after the other, if you can believe it. So these cream sticks do a great job of covering it up without looking cakey. And all I do is use a small brush to blend it in. So up close, here is the perfecting complexion stick. One end has the product on it and then you twist it up from the bottom. So khaki is the color that I use all over my face as a foundation. And I just draw lines. You can draw dots, you can kind of shade it in if you want, whatever is gonna work for you. So, so easy. And you can feel right away when you use it that it's quite creamy, so it's gonna be very easy to blend out. Sometimes if I'm in a hurry, I like to put on the concealer as well, but right now I'm just gonna blend out the foundation. If you have dry skin, on some days I do feel like my skin is drier than others, I like to mist my face first before I blend it out. That way it's a little bit more hydrated, but because I prepped my skin really well and I used some face oil, I don't need to rehydrate it with a, a spray or anything like that. See how easy it is to blend? And this color is a perfect match for my skin tone. So you can see it still looks like my skin, still very natural, but I do have some coverage, kind of evens out some of the skin tone. And then for any spots that I want to cover up more, I go in with more product, but right now I'm just gonna go in with the concealer and then do that step afterwards. All right, so this one is sand. This one's a bit lighter, as you can see. And I like to go in right now the whole <laughs> concealer trick is to just go the inner corner and then out here. But I feel like once you blend it out, it kind of goes everywhere anyways. So you do whatever you feel is gonna give you the best coverage for what you need to do, either that day or just in general. This is where I like to put my concealer. So I have another brush and this is an angled brush. Sometimes I like to use my fingers, but because I feel like this product blends out really well with a brush, I use this angled brush right here. And I like to pat it in. Very, very easy. This sand color, I feel like it's such a great concealer because it just highlights my under eyes enough, but it's not a huge, like drastic change where it makes it look like I'm wearing concealer, like if you pick the wrong color. This one is a good match. If you don't want that kind of brighter under eye look, you can just go with the foundation all over and that would work too. But I like a little bit of brightness. Right in my T-zone. you are trying to improve on your morning routine to get your face kind of ready for the day, this is so easy to do with these products. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more product. I don't like to use a concealer type shade for my blemishes because I feel like it highlights those areas. So I like to go in with the foundation shade and go over those spots to have a little bit more coverage. So you can either put it on directly, you can put it on with your finger, or you can take your brush. So right now I'm just gonna go over it with 
the stick. I have a little scar here from when I was a kid. I like to let it sit for just a little bit before I blend it out. I have worn this makeup without setting it and it felt really nice, but if you feel like you need to set it, you would do that right now, just the under eyes or your T-zone in case you get a little bit oily. Okay, while I was off camera, I put a little bit of powder in my T-zone and I also used my contour stick to carve out my cheekbones and also around my face and my chin and a little bit of my nose. So now I'm gonna go in with the angled brush and blend out the areas where I wanted to cover up some of my dark spots. A little bit on my cheeks. I don't really worry about it too much because I'm gonna go in with the cream blush by Merit and so it'll move that product around a little bit. I don't take too much effort in covering up these imperfections because I feel like the more you try to cover things up, the more obvious it's gonna look. So I just do a little bit and then kind of just accept it for what it is. So that is basically all I do. And if it happens to come off throughout the day, I'll bring this with me and cover it up if I'm with friends or out with my husband. Now moving on to one of my favorite products from Merit is this cream blush. I absolutely love cream blush. Blush is one of my favorite products to use along with eyelashes. I just feel like it makes your face look really Really youthful and kind of brings your face to life when you have a little bit of color on your cheeks and I feel like cream blush just lasts a lot longer than powder blush but you can always layer your favorite blush on top of this cream blush and what I also love about cream blushes is that it's multitasking which I love about this kit. Taking this on the go when you're traveling, you don't have to carry that many products in your makeup bag, and you can just go with this product all over. So with cream blushes, you can easily use it as an eyeshadow on your lips across the bridge of your nose to give you that kind of sun-kissed look. I'm a blush girl, so I love, love putting it on all over. You can use it on your lips if you want, but I do have a lip product from Merit that I will be using, which I love. The color is perfect. So again, if you want to use a little bit on your eyelids to give a little bit of color, you can. It's very subtle, but kind of pulls your whole look together if you want to add it. Just like the cream sticks, so easy to blend. So if you look here, just a little bit of color goes a long way. I feel like going in with your fingertips is just so much easier than having to grab a brush. They do have this cream blush in other shades, but this was my favorite one. All right, moving on to their highlighting stick. First of all, I love the packaging. This one is called Bounce. So I wear highlight kind of depending on what I'm doing that day. Generally, I like to use a little bit on my nose and that's it. But on other days, especially if I'm out doing something fun, I like to put it on the tops of my cheeks so that when the light hits, you have a little bit of shimmer right there. As little or as much as you want. Some people like to put it on the tops of their forehead to have a little bit of that highlight. I'll go ahead and do that right now. I only like to use a little bit. And then once you blend it out, kind of like where the sun or the light would naturally hit. And then I like to do a little bit on my nose, right in the middle here to add a little bit. I just love the way that looks. You obviously don't want to go overboard because then you'll look like Rudolph. And then a little bit on the bridge of my nose to kind of enhance. And then that's it. You can take a little brush if you want and put it right underneath your brow bone to give a little highlight. I really do like that look, but sometimes when I'm in a hurry, I don't have time for that. So I just leave it alone. But just that highlight alone kind of brightens up your face and your whole look. Since my eyebrows are already done, I'm gonna take the volumizing pomade, and I have to remember that the long side is the one that has the brush on it. So I'm gonna brush my hairs up in the front, or I'm sorry, in the middle. I like how it deposits a little bit of color, but not too much. And then you can keep your brow hairs in place.
And since I already have eyelashes on, I'm gonna put the mascara on the bottom lashes and then you can see. I feel like my bottom lashes are longer than my top lashes. I don't know how I got that, but that's how it is. I do like that this mascara kind of feels creamy, not too thick, just like their other products. Easy goes on, not clumpy at all. Because a lot of the product is at the end of the wand, I like to go back and forth with that and then brush it out with the spoolie. You can do multiple coats if you want to, but I'm gonna leave it at that. Okay, last but not least is their tinted lip oil. It was so hard for me to choose one color because all of them were beautiful, but I'm so happy I chose this one because it is definitely my lips, but better. Packaging is so pretty and it's small enough to bring in your purse. I feel like it is the perfect nude color for my lips. And this is the finished look. If I wasn't filming this video and I was just getting ready for the day, I can most definitely do my makeup routine in five, maybe eight minutes with these Merit Beauty products and then the extra steps where I fill in my eyebrows, put on my lashes and also add my contour. Having two kids and it being summer, I definitely need a morning routine that is short and sweet, but also makes me feel and look put together. I'll leave all the information for Merit Beauty down in the description box below. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and I will see you guys all in my next one. Bye.